Hello and welcome to Swagger Hub, a collaborative platform where you can design and manage your API definitions throughout their lifecycle. In this video, you will learn how to set up the IBM API Connect integration with your API definition. Swagger Hub integrates with IBM API Connect. With the integration, you can design and collaborate on your API definition on Swagger Hub, and then synchronize it with IBM Cloud to create an API gateway, configure security and rate limits, monitor API health, and build developer portals. To connect to the IBM API Connect platform, Swagger Hub needs an API key. Let's generate it. First, log into IBM Cloud, and then go to IBM Cloud API Keys, and create an API key. Enter the name and description for the API key, and create it. Copy or download the generated API key to your computer. Note that you won't be able to see the key later. Now, let's go to Swagger Hub. This is a simple API definition, and we will synchronize it with IBM API Connect. Let's add the IBM API Connect integration. Give the integration a friendly name as you can have multiple integrations in the same API definition. Then, paste the API key that we've just generated and click Authenticate. Next, select the organization to which you want to deploy your API. If you already have an API definition in API Connect and want to sync your current definition with it, select the name of an existing API. We'll create a new API in API Connect. That's it. From now on, every time you save your API definition on Swagger Hub, the corresponding API in IBM API Connect will be updated. Now, let's check how the integration works. Once pushed to API Connect, the API will be saved as a draft in your API Connect instance. You can view it in the API Designer. The draft API is not yet available to anyone. To publish the API, we'll need to add it to a product, and then stage the product to a catalog on IBM Cloud. Let's publish the API. Enter the product title, name, and version, and publish the API to the default catalog sandbox. The API is now available for the external use. Swagger Hub will push updates to your API in API Connect when you change it in the future, but you'll need to republish those changes to IBM Cloud after they are added to the API Connect. Let's make some changes in Swagger Hub and check the updated definition in API Connect. For example, let's add a property to a model. The definition is now synced and updated in API Connect. Now, let's republish the API and stage it to the Sandbox catalog. Let's view the product in Sandbox and publish it. Now, let's test API calls. To do this, we need to add an IBM extension to the definition. The extension stores API configuration parameters specific to API Connect, such as the URL of the backend server to proxy the request to. We'll use the Explore tool to test API calls. This opens interactive API documentation, like the documentations you have in Swagger Hub. Select an operation and click Call Operation. Looks good. The gateway handles the request, forwards the data to the backend, and receives the response. Swagger Hub can greatly accelerate your API development process. We hope this video helped you learn how to integrate your API definition with IBM API Connect. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out our documentation, videos, and online community on our support portal.